How to set up Apache Web Server HTTPD in a Podman container for Red Hat like system with Ansible? I'm going to show you a live demo with some simple Ansible code. I'm Luca Berton and welcome in today's episode of Ansible Pilot. Today we are talking about how to deploy a web server Apache HTTPD in a Podman container for Red Hat like Linux system. The full process requires three steps that you could automate with Ansible. Firstly, you need to verify that Podman and its dependency are successfully installed on the target system using the ansible.builtin.yam ansible module that interact with yam or dnf the package manager of your distribution and set it up everything secondly you need to pull the image from the uh, from the hub registry using the containers dot podman dot podman underscore image ansible module this operation is crucial if you want to keep track of the image running on your system and finally you could run the web server container setting the right port and settings using the container dot podman dot podman underscore container ansible module are you ready to have fun let's move it on to a little demo about how to set up apache httpd web server in a podman container for red hat like system with ansible playbook Wait a minute, where could you find, find more container and how to use it? So, well, there are a lot of registry out of the wild. Uh, Red Hat, for example, has a Quay, but the most probably biggest is Docker Hub. There is a, a lot of resources at, out here, but in this example, we are going to see HTTPD, that is the official Apache HTTPD repository. As you can see, the, this is downloaded by 1 billion users. It's quite a big project and support all the latest releases as well as a different architecture. The documentation is well written, so really, this is a great source where you start and this registry also support OCI so you can use without any issue with Podman so let's move it on welcome to my editor I will show you how to set up Apache in a container for a Red Hat like system First of all, let's begin our playbook with one play named Deploy HTTPD on Container that is going to be executed on hosts all of my inventory. I need root privilege, so let me set become to true and I don't need the system information, so let me set gather facts to false. On the task list, we are going to automate three tasks. First of all, let's verify that Podman is installed with ansible.builtin.yam module. That is going to check the package name Podman. And we would like this to be in the latest version available. Present is OK too. Uh, what else? Uh, we are ready to pull the image finally. So let me use uh, containers.podman.podman underscore image. Exactly, I need a container named HTTPD, the one that we see on uh, Docker Hub, and we need to pull, so download on the current machine, 
and I would like uh, the tag latest, so the latest release. Easy! Finally, we can run our HTTPD container with uh, using containers.podman.podman underscore container. This is a fantastic model. We need only to specify some parameter. First of all, the name of a container. Web server seems a good name. The image that we would like to run, HTTPD, and the state of the container started. We are going to run in the detach mode, so even if uh, the user is not connected, and we need to expose a port 80 of this container and let me bind the port uh, port 8080 to port 80 of the container and here we go we are able to mm, download download uh, the image and completely automatically run with uh, podman isn't this magic? Let's move it on to the console. Welcome to my terminal. First of all, let me connect to my demo machine via SSH, DevOps is my username, and demoexample.com, my demo machine. This is a freshly installed Red Hat Enterprise Linux 8 latest religion. So, first of all, let me verify what which image are present oh nothing and uh, also no container running but i think here the problem is the missing podman so there is no utility to run a container on this machine so let me search with dnf if a package is available and in which version so at the moment look like no pad podman utility installed and without podman we can do anything we are not able to download an image and not also to run the container at the moment dnf is updating the repository metadata and in a blink of an eye we are getting the result here we go this is the latest Podman available version 3.4.2 and the fact that it is available means that it is not installed. So let's disconnect from the system and execute my Ansible playbook. As usual, let me specify my inventory and then the playbook that we coded together. The execution is going to take a while and is going to move in step by step in all the three tasks that we defined. The first is to verify that Podman is installed, so it's going to download, install and verify on the target system the Podman utility. This utility is fundamental because uh, it is used by Ansible to interact with container. So we just need to wait and behind the scene Ansible is doing all the heavy load communicating with DNF and YAM, the package manager of Red Hat like system and taking care of all the needed dependency. The package is not so big but has some uh, uh, dependency so we might wait uh, a little bit longer the other two step uh, it also required time especially to download the image the image was nearly 150 megabyte so the time span depends by the performance of your machine as well as the network resources so keep patience, this uh, prompt doesn't mean, oh yes, Ansible is moving on. So now Podman is successfully installed, we are downloading the image, 
as I said before, 150 megabyte is downloaded from the target machine. No, in the target machine from the container registry. In this case, I used the Docker Hub, but there are others. And finally, run the container took nothing. <laughs> so free changes status, uh, free step executed. Everything go went smooth. What happens if we run again the playbook? Ansible verify that everything is in order. This property is called hidden potency. Let me connect via SSH to the same machine to verify now which state it is. Let me DNF list for Podman. And this time we have installed package. Yes, version 3.4.2. Good job. Let me list the available images. Oh, it's still empty. Yes, because I am with normal user. Let me switch to root and this time root has one downloaded image, images. As you can see, there is a image ID and also size and all the information. Podman PS list the running container and this is great, also you can see the port that is listening for. With Podman Inspect, the advanced user can take a look on all the details of this container. And all of this was created automatically by Ansible combined with Podman. So basically we didn't do anything. But the most important part uh, is the web server running. Let's find it out on my browser. Back on the browser, let me type the address demoexample.com port 8080. And I think that it works. This is the default Apache placeholder page. Feel free to customize with whatever you want. But this architecture of managing a web server inside a container is a fantastic also for security. So thank you Ansible for unlocking this possibility. Now you know how to set up Apache web server HTTPD in a Podman container for Red Hat like system with Ansible. Thank you for watching. If this video was useful for you, give me a thumbs up and uh, also write me a comment and in general keep in touch with me. See us on the next IT adventure of Ansible Pilot and have a great day! This video is part of our Ansible automation program. Sign up today on www.ansiblepilot.com for uninterrupted exclusive video and so much fun.